In the dark night rises, Alfred says, I'll get this to Mr. Fox, but no more. I've sewn you up, I've set your bones, but I won't bury you. I've buried enough members of the Wayne family. Bruce says, you'll leave me. Alfred says, you see only one end to your journey. Leaving is all I have to make you understand you're not Batman anymore. You have to find another way. You used to talk about finishing, about a life beyond that awful cave. Bruce said, Alfred, Rachel died knowing that we had decided to be together. That was my life beyond the cave. I can't just move on. She, she didn't, she couldn't. Alfred said, what if she had? Bruce says, I can't change that. Alfred said, what if before she died, she wrote the letter saying she chose Harvey Dent over you? And what if to spare you your pain, I burnt that letter? Bruce says, how dare you use Rachel to try and stop me? Alfred says, I am using the truth, Master Wayne. Maybe it's time we all stop trying to smart the truth and let you have it stay. I'm sorry. You're sorry, Bruce says. You expect to destroy my world and then think that we're going to shake hands. Alfred says, no, no, no. I know what this means. Bruce says, what does it mean? Alfred says, it means your hatred. And it also means losing someone that I've cared for since I first heard his cries echo through this wall, through this house, sorry. But it might also mean saving your life. And that is more important. So there's a few lessons here. Sometimes... Some people don't let go of their careers and you don't have to divorce them unless you want to, which wouldn't be wrong. It's, you know, I'm neutral on that. Everyone in relationships have their preferences. It could be a pressure fine, not refusing to leave their career. It could be someone throwing themselves too much into their business career or something and it's not healthy for them, basically, and you're trying to get them to leave. And maybe either you divorce them or you leave them and move out till they learn their lesson. That's one option where you divorce them. Yeah, and that's between the couple. You can't say it's wrong for someone to divorce though if they feel that you should see that. I'm neutral now. I respect both point choices. And you see how, you know, um, Bruce says he doesn't see a life beyond rage or dying. If you do lose someone, you still have to see a life beyond your wife your kids and that means living for yourself because that's what training your mind is all about it's not about living for other people yeah it's about providing for your family but it's also putting yourself first putting yourself first means you live for yourself more than your own kids more than everyone else because in order for you to provide for your kids you have to be able to take care of yourself and that, that sometimes means losing them but still you gotta live you got no choice and you'll just make people upset if you kill yourself so don't do that please and, you know, Alfred spared Bruce's pain from Rachel choosing Harvey over him. That was wrong of him. He meant well, but still super wrong. And some people ain't going to forgive that. So you have to be ready for that. You know, you don't ever hide the truth from someone, no matter what situation it is. You got to trust soldiers, for example, when, when let's say their relative dies and you know about it as a leader, you got to tell the soldier straight away. Now, you may think the mission has to come first. I can understand that's the old way of thinking, but my belief is that a new way of thinking is needed where everyone is told truth, not just soldiers, people, about conspiracy theories, things like that, regardless of panic, because we have to all take a leap of faith in society and let's stop you know, making excuses about panicking. And like Alfred said a bit later on, let the truth have its day instead of trying to outsmile, which is what the government and leaders try to do. You know, they just tried to outsmart the truth instead of just saying the fucking truth. Answering all these conspiracy theories. But regardless, you know, if you're going to talk about something big, like the way Alfred was talking to Bruce about Rachel, sometimes keep your guard up. Have character reading. Sometimes some people won't punch you in the face, but some people might. Maybe your friend telling your friend that your friend tried to flirt with me. And then your friend might try and punch you in the face, accusing you of, you know... Uh, lying so you have to be ready for that possibility but if you have character you'll know if someone will or won't punch you in the face but sometimes saying the truth also means having someone's hatred and that's you know you have to accept that truth is more important as Alfred says and that could save someone's life maybe but it, it most importantly it saves you from that burden of boiling things in look at Gordon and Dark Knight Rises boiling things in for eight years Always say the truth, no matter how painful it is, even if it brings pain to others, even if people lose their minds over it. Because in the end, people have to 
you know, be able to take pain because society is becoming more and more thin-skinned. Look at Gen Z, the way they are about, about some of them tracks. So, you know, what I'm saying is people uh, get offended easily. And, you know, I know some of his lyrics are controversial, but generally speaking, I think they're fine. So, you know, he's admitted that some of them are controversial, but generally speaking, I think Gen Z get offended. Look at the um, TV shows, you know, some people get offended by friends. So what I'm saying is we live in a thin-skinned society and we have to be able to tell people the truth and stop sugarcoating things because something is happening where people aren't able to take the truth. We need to let the truth have its day. So this all needs to change and it starts with everyone speaking up and stop, you know, sugarcoating things and being around the bush. Look at the way Alfred speaks to Bruce about a serious topic. He just direct and straight to the point. That's how you need to be when it comes to your family and friends and strangers.